If a patient comes and sees me and has an overactive thyroid and has a thyroid nodule, I will get what's called a radioactive iodine uptake and scan. And so that is a test where they give you a little tiny amount of the isotope that does not hurt the patient, does not hurt the thyroid, mm -hmm. and it's used to take a picture. That's actually how you tell that the nodule is, is making thyroid hormone and making the patient sick. So if I have a patient who has two nodules and they're hyperthyroid, I don't know, is it one of the nodules? Is it both of the nodules? Which nodule? And mm -hmm. so particularly for radiofrequency ablation, you need to confirm which nodule is making thyroid hormone and is making the patient sick. You need to do that for radioiodine as well because you need to see one, how much of the gland is making too much thyroid hormone, um, and two, they actually give you measurements of how much of that radioisotope is taken up. That's actually very important because I use that to, to, to determine the dose of radioiodine that I give for a treatment. And that will play a role in whose nodules are good for radioiodine and whose nodules are not. Wow. Okay. The, both isotopes are actually a pill. It kind of looks like a 1980s Tylenol gel cap. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when we talk about radiation in the thyroid world, patients think of, you know, they get stuck in the machine and they get, mm -hmm. they get zapped and get burning on their skin. You know, if they've had family members who've had other kinds of neck cancer or other issues, um, and there are a lot of different concerns with that. Um, it's actually a pill. It used to be kind of a Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. So if you look at people getting radioiodine in the 60s and 70s, they've been using radioiodine medically since the 1940s. Uh, it was actually a liquid that they had them drink. We don't do that anymore because it's toxic for the people handling the material and giving it to the patient. It's actually the same stuff, they just inject it into a, a capsule. And so then when you order the isotope for the patient for treatment, it's a special individualized capsule that you can make whatever dose you want it to be, whatever you think is going to be best for the patient, and it is specifically for them.